Alright guys, that's right, a bonus video, a Wednesday upload, crazy. Well, I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, this is actually quite a kind of serious topic. So recently on social media, my local bakery's Facebook page, they announced they are shutting down with this whole virus going around. They've tried to stay open as long as possible, but unfortunately they are now having to close down. It kind of brings a very serious message across, and that is with this whole virus, local businesses, local shops, your butchers, your bakeries, they're all being really affected by this. So my message that I want to get across guys, is support local businesses as you can, whether it be your butcher, your baker, you buy a cake, whatever it is, support local, help keep local businesses open during this whole thing, and hopefully we'll all get through it together and everything will be back to normal soon. That said, I'm gonna go to my local bakery, I'm gonna buy a bunch of stuff, support them where I can. It won't be a crazy, crazy challenge, more of an enjoyable kind of challenge. That said, I'll see you guys shortly. <laughs> My friends, what is going on? I am back with all of the baked goods, and let me tell you, I am excited for this one. So yeah, my local bakery is closing down with this whole virus thing going on. Actually, the world's a pretty scary place at the moment, so I thought it would be good to give them a bit of a send off, go up, buy a bunch of their food, show it to you guys, try it all out. This is gonna be the last video until the end of the week because I've got a really big challenge coming up. It's gonna be a lot, a lot, a lot of fast food. Let's just put it that way. Fried chicken. <coughs> anyway guys, I've got no idea how many calories right here. I'll try and estimate it and put it on your screen now. I reckon around maybe four and a half, five thousand ish. But yeah, we've got a bunch of stuff, got a bunch of sweet stuff at the front, and then we've got a whole bunch of bakes and pasties and sandwiches off to the back. This is proper British. I'm really looking forward to this one. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead, drop a like, show some support. T-shirts, where we at? T-shirts are still available in small, medium, large, and XXL in colours white, black, and grey. If you guys would be awesome enough to support the channel, pick one of those up. Link is down below. With that said, guys, this is the ultimate bakery menu challenge. All right, so we're going to start with some of the savory stuff first. Off to the side here, I've got some sandwiches. I don't know how well you guys can see them. Some almond milk. We'll use that in just a bit. Sugar-free ketchup, obviously. But yeah, we'll start with the sandwiches. Now, bear with me, guys. In the house, I literally had nothing to put in these. So right here, I've got cheese and coleslaw sandwiches. Yes, it's not the most, um, not the most appealing, I guess, but it's the best I could do. I literally had no meat, I had nothing else other than coleslaw and cheese. So, homemade bun from the bakery. Let's get this down. No time, I don't really care how long it takes me. It's, it's interesting. Also, what do you guys think? Of this little setup, I'm in a different place. I'm using natural natural light to help light this up. So, does it look good? Let me know. Also, in case you're wondering, that is my weight bench behind there. There's my uh, bar, you know. I've got to stay fit during this entire thing. All right, second sandwich, same thing. It's um, cream cheese and coleslaw. These bread buns, by the way, are like quality. I mean, coleslaw sandwiches, it's not the worst thing in the world. Not the best either. Right, next up, got some homemade quiche. So this is just plain cheese quiche. Uh, yeah. It's good. Just literally cheese. I think there might be onion in there, I'm not entirely sure. Got the ketchup. Bit of ketchup, got all of it. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Let's turn the brightness down on my um, light. It's delicious. I should point out, all of this costs 13 pounds, literally 13 pounds. Absolute bargain in my opinion. Right, next up, this is the corned beef slice. So it's pastry, it's got corned beef in the middle. It's got onions. Once again, all of this is homemade by the bakery. And it's literally like beside my house. Corn beef slice. Classic. Bit of ketchup. It 
did you guys enjoy this kind of like relaxed video where I kind of just show off a bunch of food I'm not speed eating it and let me know I can definitely do more right next up everyone loves this the classic sausage roll oh yes it's got pastry it's got a sausage in the middle what's not to love flaky pastry I've warmed them all up so it's nice and warm Bit of ketchup. Do you guys have ketchup on your sausage roll? I do. This was a great idea. Right, I should point out I'm still recovering from my massive cheat day that I did the other day. But I wanted to get this done. Today was the last day that they opened, so. Now, this is some sort of pie. I think it's beef and onion, but I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. I think it's a beef and onion pie, and these are like. That's got some serious weight to it, so. It is. I don't know why you guys can see that. It's like a, like, like a mince, a mince beef. Not bad. Really, really soft, buttery. Ketchup, obviously. The pastry is like so buttery. You can tell it's terrible for you, but it tastes amazing. That is a proper pie. All right, now this is another British classic, the Cornish pasty. So it's the same kind of thing, it's got pastry, and then it's like mint uh, with vegetables, onions, I think it's minced beef. I've not had one of these in literally years, so it's good to give this a try. Can you hear that crunch? Wow. All right, so it's got minced beef again, it's got potatoes. Pastry is like incredible. My god. It's like one of the best things I've ever done. I don't know why I haven't done this sooner to be honest. You can see the chunks. God damn. A bit of carrot at the back. Oh this is good man. This is so good. Right. Right, now we've got three pasties left, and I'm not entirely sure what they are. I've just got one of each. One's cheese, one's beef, and I think one is curry chicken. Start with this middle one. Once again, no idea exactly what it is. Curry chicken. Oh man, that's really nice. A slight spice. I don't know if you've ever had coronation chicken, but that's exactly what it is. Like the kind of stuff you would put in a sandwich. So many crumbs. Fantastic. Crumbs absolutely everywhere. Right. Final two savoury things. This one might be the cheese one, I'm not entirely sure. Yep, yeah. I think it is anyway. Mm, yeah, cheese. I think it's cheese and onion. Once again, bit of ketchup. You got it. There's a lot of pastry everywhere. Alright, final savory. This will be the beef and onion one. God damn. Same thing, corned beef. Right, let's reconfigure. Right, onto my favourite part. Sweets. Of course, you've got to have some milk. You can't have sweets without milk. So, We've got an assortment of stuff. Pretty much, it's pretty much one of every sweet item we had. So we'll start down here. We have got the classic, with it being Easter, hot cross bun. Yes, I've burnt it slightly, but we'll, we'll ignore that. Simple butter. Yeah, hot cross bun. But you know what, why not, it's Easter. Love it. Put some simple butter on it, all it needs.
delicious. Right. Next up is a toasted tea cake. So it's a similar thing to the hot cross bun, except it doesn't have any icing on. Now I've really burnt this one. So we'll ignore the back part. But yeah, toasted tea cake. Once again, I've got butter and then just some jam. Another British classic. Once again, it's so simple, but it's delicious. All right, another British classic, the scone. For Americans, it's basically your biscuit, except they're sweet. You can get savoury ones, but yeah, it's basically a biscuit in America. But yeah, for a British scone, this is a cherry one. Now normally, normally you'd have like jam and cream um, or butter, but I've just left these as they are. We've got a date one, and then we've got the cherry one. It's a little bit dry, but yeah, super light, super airy. Love it. Wow. Right, cherry scone, delicious, love them. Maybe a little bit dry though. Right, this is the date one. It's got dates in it, same thing. These are like, pretty hefty as well. It's got sugar on top. I don't know how well you guys can see that. That one's actually my favorite, I like that one. This is the last bread thing. This is an iced finger or an iced bun. It's literally just bread with fruit and then it's got icing on top. Another British delicacy. And exactly what it is. My mum absolutely loves these. They're all right. Sweet, fruity, what's not to love. Mm. Next up, we've got a little gingerbread person, I guess. I don't really know what it is. Um, but yeah, ginger biscuits, like chocolate on top, little buttons. Rather, rather hard. Of course, you guys know, ginger biscuits, you've got to dunk it in milk. I don't care who you are. Yep. Yep. Oh, damn, this might be one of my favorite challenges I've ever done. I wouldn't even call this a challenge, really. More just a enjoyable meal. Right. Next up, I think this is called a snowball. It looks like it's got pastry on the bottom, kind of coconut, maybe marshmallow on top. No, it's really over saturated. Whatever, anyway. Snowball. Wow. So it's cake. It's like a cake ball, and then it's got coconut on top. That is really soft. Literally just dissolves. Next up, we've got a almond tart, I believe it is. Pastry bottom, and then I think it's like an almondy kind of biscuit top. I don't really know, to be honest. Yeah. So it's cake on top, pastry, and then it's got a jam in the middle. Right, we'll do the muffin next. So this is a chocolate chip, yeah, chocolate chip muffin. This feels like super soft. This is like really, really soft. Wow. It's a pack. Oh yes. Right, two of my actual favorite things. This is a custard tart. I love these things. Some people like them, some people don't. Pastry case. Custard, egg filling, I love them. Actually, I think it's called an egg tart. Look at the colour. Wow. Right, final thing, a massive wedge of carrot cake. 
Oh look, Karen here. It's the softest thing ever. Cream cheese on top. Well, well there we have it guys. That was amazing. Hands down one of the best things I've done in a while. Very enjoyable, supporting a local business. Like I say, if you guys can support any of your local shops, I highly would recommend doing it. Try and keep them open during this crazy time. But yeah, that was absolutely incredible. Delicious. Anyway guys, subscribe. I've got a crazy video coming. Very crazy video. Pardon me. That'll be coming at the end of the week. Stay tuned for that. With that said guys, that was a lot of bakery goods. Delicious.